So in today's How to AK video, we are going to talk about stance, recoil mitigation, and trigger control. If you see anything in this video that you uh, have some more questions about, be it reloading, working the charging handle, the safety lever, things of that nature, we already have full length videos on that. So by all means, go back to our IGTV. You can find all that there. So of course it goes without saying that you really want to, at this point, be really comfortable with the controls. You want to be comfortable with your safety. You want to be comfortable with that charging handle. However you decide to charge it, I know that's a big uh, point of contention with a lot of people, but however you choose to do it, whatever is most ergonomic for you, or if you choose to do it uh, the, way, the way I've showed you that I do it, uh, more power to you. I'm just going to show you a few things that I've learned over the years on how to stand with this thing. How to line up your shoulders, how to line up your feet, how to bend your knees, and how to hold it while you're controlling that trigger and pulling it at just the right times, and you'll be ready for the recoil, that way you can control it. It won't surprise you. If you're just at the range or you're at a match, always remember, is this how I would stand if there is a tiger in a cage about to come eat my ass, or is someone going to try to knock me over? Am I going to be really casual, or am I going to lean into it and get ready? have some suspension, point your shoulders towards the target, bend those knees, poke the butt out just, just slightly. If someone were to try to knock me over right now, could I retain my balance? Always have that in your head. I'm facing you, you're my target. Feet are spread out slightly, lurching forward a little bit. Okay, notice how I'm ready. Knees bent, lean forward, your butt's naturally gonna poke out a little bit. My left foot is, I'm, I'm talking maybe two or three inches forward, a little slightly more forward than my right foot. That's going to allow me to take off. Left-handed, my right foot is slightly forward, left foot is slightly back. Whether you're a right-handed shooter or a left-handed shooter, your feet are going to follow that, okay? When you're bringing that stock in, I know it's really easy to let it come out. I see a lot of people, it just ends up out on their bicep. Maybe it ends up on their shoulder, right, right on the socket. Bring it a little bit in past the socket, almost on your collarbone, where the collarbone meets the socket of your shoulder. Okay? You guys can see that okay? Remember, whether you're gripping the magwell or you're gripping the grip, same, same, okay? I find my collarbone, I let it slide in just slightly and lock in. And then back to the magwell grip, if that's how you choose to do it. Same, same. I'm rolling my shoulder into that stock. Square those shoulders up. Roll that shoulder into that stock. Lean forward just slightly. And that's really it. That is really it. Your body's gonna soak up so much of that recoil it's going to freak you out. It's going to feel like there's a muzzle brake on the thing. But I think you can see from that video, there was a pretty good jump. It is coming back into my shoulder. I can feel my arm jiggling. And it's just not ideal. It's really not. And not only that, if I had to move really quick from target to target, standing super relaxed like that, I'm going to lose time and it's going to look really sloppy. Let's go ahead and try to square up to this target. See how we can control that recoil. Go to the magwell. When those elbows are dropped and locked and I'm sucking that thing into my shoulder and both shorter shoulders are squared up and pointed at that target, uh, I feel like I'm in complete control of that thing. That felt like I had a ton of control. All right, we're gonna go left target, right target, two shots in each, fairly fast and Let's see how that recoil looks. Felt just fine. Let's magwell grip it this time. 
I want you to really practice this because this is not going to come through on the camera very well, just how I'm working this trigger. Something you don't want to do when you're pulling the trigger is let your finger jump off the trigger. You don't want to slap the trigger every time and do that. Bang, 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 bang. I don't want your finger to ever come off the trigger in between shots. So let me show you what that, what that looks like. Finger still on the trigger. Let off. Finger still on the trigger. Let off. Still on the trigger. Now let's do that three times. Watch the finger. See how the finger never leaves the trigger? There's no other trick to it. That's what I have found to be most repeatable. My finger stays on that trigger while I'm pointed in a safe direction at a target. If I need to squeeze the trigger more than once, the finger stays on, bang, let off, still on the trigger. As soon as I feel that reset, bang, and that's it. And don't try to like jump on that trigger, like letting completely off. The whole time you're doing that, you're letting your finger off and pulling the trigger, gun's doing this, pulling the sights off. It's going to be a lot easier to stay on target. So we'll try that again from a magwell grip. That really keeps you on your toes, uh, no pun intended, to really keep heel towing, keeping those knees bent, and slowly coming across while also making sure that your sights are on that target. Fingers staying on the trigger like we just talked about, not letting off the trigger, but if I'm at the target, my finger can be on the trigger. I'm letting off, finger stays on, I hear the click come back. My finger's not dancing off the trigger. Maintain this motion and maintain this posture while we work in a little bit of a reload while we're moving and hopefully you'll kind of see it all come together so there's going to be a lot going on in this one but we're going to keep that fighter stance we're going to keep acting like someone's going to come try to knock us over so we want to stay strong in our stance and even while we're reloading we're going to stay low we're going to bring that rifle in keep those elbows bent we're going to work in the reload uh, there's another video on that if you want more details on it get it back up lock it in swing over Bang, bang. So let's see how she goes. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned a couple of things. Uh, now believe me, everything I say in this video, I'm not telling you it's the right way. It's just the way that I do it. Uh, it's just the way that I've really been shown from a lot of people way smarter than me, how they did it. Also, doesn't mean it's right. There's tons and tons of trainers out there. A lot of them have come up with ways that really help you run these AKs. A lot better than thought you could. So remember, these videos are really intended for beginners. So all the keyboard commandos that train all the time, save it. I know, you're way better than me. I totally get it. I know I'm doing everything wrong. I get it, my man. Relax. I'm trying to just help out new people that are buying an AK for the first time. Ooh, maybe the recoil is a little much. Maybe a reload seems a little difficult. Maybe they're totally, uh, this safety seems totally foreign and having a reciprocating charging handle is totally foreign to them. This is for those guys, the guys that really want to give the AK an honest shot and they don't need people like you beating them down in the dirt, calling them retards all the time. So, again, this video is for, it's intended for, beginners. People that are honestly interested in how to run this thing a little bit better. I'm no professional, I just shoot them all the time, people ask me all the time, so I thought, hey, we'll make some videos to try to help some people out. I hope this does help you out. I hope you found it informative. Please, if you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments below. Give us a like, give us a follow, tell your friends that maybe are asking you the same questions and maybe you can point them towards these videos and 
hell, maybe they'll uh, they'll start dry firing in their underwear and their tube socks, making their wife super happy in the living room. Let us know what you want to see next, guys. We'll see you next time.